Hey everyone, Joe here from Average Joe Mountain Biking. Just wanted to come outside and do a quick bike check and uh, go over kind of what I'm going to be riding this summer, uh, spring into summer. Last year I did uh, purchase a bike and uh, I ended up selling it. Um, I purchased from my local bike shop, uh, Fast and Happy Bicycles, like I mentioned yesterday. Again, um, no sponsorship, no money uh, given from them. I did pay, pay uh, money out of my own pocket for it. Um, at this time I got nobody sponsoring me, so anything that I do talk about um, is comes out of my own pocket, my own hard earned money, eh, excuse me, my own hard earned money. Uh, took a pretty big digger February 10th this year. I was out riding in the snow and uh, you know I, I think I mentioned yesterday about uh, Jim going out, um, Jim and Davis going out snowshoeing, pulling a tire behind them and they groomed some trails and it was great to ride on even with uh, smaller tires and um, I, I did, I took a digger, I went down pretty hard and broke a rib and uh, I, it put me down, it put me down physically, it put me down, put me in a really bad sp uh, spot mentally and I, I had a hard time and uh, I ended up selling my bike and it was, it was pretty tough and uh, you know, it, went, it, it took a long time, you know, a week or so and you know, I was telling you about my amazing wife yesterday but believe it or not, I have a wife that pushed me into going out and buying a new bike. So here it is, uh, purchased this bike uh, middle of February, uh, it's a specialized stump jumper, uh, 2019, 29 inch wheels, uh, it's the alloy comp version, um, and it cost me uh, right around, give or so, $3,000. Um, so I'm going to go through it with you real quick just to give you the specs on it. In fact, when I was doing reviews and seeing if this was the bike I wanted to get, I couldn't find any information on it. There was not a single YouTube review that they, they talked about this bike. Um, every time you do a review, you look up YouTube on a, for a review on a specialized stump jumper in 2019, it's all the carbon and the expert and all the, you know, the high-end models. So I'm going to give you a quick uh, overview and some close-ups of the bike. And then, of course, as you can see behind me, um, we still got snow on the ground. Ground's very, very soft, but, you know, we're right around 40 degrees right now, so my hands are a little cold being out here. Uh, but we're, we're getting there. It's, I, I, I looked down some of the trails today as I was coming home from work and, and the snow is starting to dissipate and you can start seeing the ground coming through. So we'll be riding before we know it. Um, but yeah, let's take a quick, uh, closer look at the bike. So here's a closer look. It's a 2019 Specialized Stump Jumper Alloy Comp. And this is in the 29er version. I talked to you about the the Rocky Mountain Pipeline I had. That one was a 27.5 plus bike. So it had the 27.5, 27 and a half inch rims with 2.8 inch tires. Um, definitely confidence inspiring uh, ride. So this one's right in between. So this one's a 29 inch and it comes with a purgatory grid in the rear and butcher grid front tires, 2.6 inch. So the 29 inch wheels and tires 2.6 inch wide and I believe they do measure a little um, narrower than 26 but it definitely gives you that confidence inspiring like the 28 in that the, the 2.8 did um, but I got the bigger wheels and I'm pretty excited about that so the comp does come full SRAM NX drivetrain SRAM NX cranks chain ring it's a 30 tooth chain ring I apologize for the cars going by, but I had to get outside. Yes, it's it's 30 degrees, 35 degrees here in Maine now, and snow's melting. I needed to get outside. NX rear derailleur with a 12-speed cassette with an 11 to 50 tooth. Dropper post. Diffusion Manic. Fusion Manic drop post. I did upgrade the saddle to a WTB Coda. It's a little wider, but nice, good, small, thin, thin saddle. Comes equipped with SRAM Guide R brakes, hydraulic disc brakes, and a specialized riser bar. Love the paint job. It's a silver gray, it's a flat, it's a flat gray with the yellow, great, great paint. 
and uh, I've gone, uh, gone ahead and added some clear protective coating, some tape on the down tube, also on the top tube, I don't know if you can see it here in the video, and then on the back of the seat stay here, and then on the, the you know, the rear triangle, and, and uh, I also did it on the forks, right, so it does come with 150 mil of travel front and rear, so it has 150 mil Fox Rhythm 34 the front and then I don't know if I can get the other side going to be a little backlit here but it has the Fox float DPS rear 150 mil travel in the rear as well brakes have a nice big rotor in the front again SRAM guide R and then I upgraded the grips to an Ergon GS1 grips. Um, have not yet uh, have not yet seen dirt on those grips, so I will let you know how they feel and how they ride. Um, this bike has not yet seen dirt, except for coming back here and going up on the stand back here. Super excited to get it out on the on the trails and get a ride on it. Um, biggest difference that I find with this in the Rocky that I had before is the head tube is much higher compared to here, right? So it's going to ride, a, it's going to have a, definitely a slacker feel um, and it's got more travel. So I'm really excited uh, to see how it feels. I do like to ride a little bit in a, a more upright position. So um, when I was going out and trying out bikes, uh, I rode a lot of them, and the the pipeline I rode unseen. So I went to my local bike shop. I went to Fast and Happy Bicycles, and I said, "I want this bike." He ordered it. It came in. It was mine, without riding it. Um, this one here, I must have rode 15 to 20 bikes before I picked this one up. And for you know, for the money, uh, this one definitely felt the best. So I was out on a budget. Um, it, it did cost me roughly $3,000. And uh, I picked it up from a from a lo sort of local bike shop to me. Um, I I travel around for work, so I have to go by this bike shop just about every day. So supported another bike shop called Papa Wheelies in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Fantastic bike shop. I'm sure I'll talk a little bit more about them in the future. All right, and then pedals. I ended up going with the Crank Brother Stamp Two. There'll be a review coming on those as well. I went with the Stamp 2s over the Stamp 7s or 8s, um, strictly for, for budget. I find they're going to do very, very well. So more to come on the bike, but I do want to do it. I just wanted to do a quick bike check and, uh, and get this video up there so you guys can take a look. Super excited to get this thing out and ride and get it dirty. Um, too clean for my taste, and uh, we'll definitely get this thing out and get some miles put on her. I've been giving her a shakedown here on the road, up and down my road here, but uh, that's not enough. Last thing, I did add a mud guard under this while I had it all nice and clean and ready to go. And my, I was sick of the water coming up and hit me in the face whenever I did go through a puddle or some mud. So I added a little mud guard there. It was cheap, just a cheap plastic one that goes on with zip ties. I'm pretty excited to see how that works out. Alright, I'm going to wrap this video up. Again, let's go on this journey together, everyone. All right, and uh, subscribe. Give me a like. Give me a comment. And until next time, ride, love, laugh, and progress. Thanks, everyone.